let's let's uh, look back uh, down memory lane. Um, I asked you yesterday, what's your greatest game? You told me your greatest game was the U.S. men's national team versus Spain in that Confederations Cup game where you guys beat the best team in the world, 35-game unbeaten streak. To show you how good this Spanish team was, they had won the 2008 Euros, the 2010 World Cup, the 2012 Euros. They were completely stacked. I'm going to go through really quickly and give you their lineup. Casillas en gol, Puyol, uh, Captevilla, Sergio Ramos, Gerard Piqué, uh, Xavi, Xavi Alonso, Cesc Fabregas, Reira, uh, Fernando Torres, and David Villa. They had a stacked team. To put things in context, this is your back line. It's Carlos Bocanegra on the left, you and Jay Demerit in the center, and Jonathan Spector on the right. Now, I want to know first why this was your greatest game. Well, <laughs> I had a lot of great games, you know, and I have a <laughs> lot of... <laughs> of course you did. <laughs> I have a lot of great memories, you know, played a lot of great teams and, and great opponents and great uh, teammates, but this specific game um, stood out just because of what it meant and what was on the line. So this was the semifinals of a FIFA tournament, right? And yeah. at that point, we were the underdogs. I don't even think we thought we were going to win because we were like, you know, if we lose against Spain, that's not so bad. I mean, everybody loses against Spain, you know? Exactly. And we came out with that. I remember the, the night before or maybe a couple of days before the game, I forgot who it was. One of the, the, the coaching staff said he's going to jump in the cold pool in our hotel if we beat Spain. And everyone's like, okay, he's never going to do it. So we get into this game, and it was like everybody on our team was in the Matrix, right? It was like Super Saiyan, Goku, everybody, you know, and – you know, we get that first goal and we get that second goal. Charlie and Josie are just killing their back line. And for whatever reason, like you said, they can't penetrate our defense. And I don't understand why. I was pulling clearances out my hat. Carlos was doing stuff. Spectre was playing like he was Cafu. You know, <laughs> it, it, was, it was one of those things that um, you can't explain, but all the stars aligned, right? And they were so frustrated because they kept on coming and kept on coming, but they couldn't get through. And it was such a, a monumental game for us. Uh, one, because we beat uh, and basically like one of the invincible teams. The world power, yeah. Yeah, we beat a, a great team. Two, because we made it, we were the first men's U.S. national team to ever make it to a FIFA final, you know, and and three, you know, we beat Spain 2-0. Like, <laughs> yeah. like, I can Not always yet. say that. You know, it's really great. I want you to try explaining it to me tactically what was the message from Bob Bradley because you know Bob very well and, and Bob's and his crew Jesse Marsh and Sorber the night before they're handing you the week before USB sticks they're sticking into laptops you're studying players obviously there's some tactical approach to this game what was it I mean obviously Bob's a very tactical person he's very not defensive minded but he wants to be strong defensively Mm -hmm. And he told us that, you know, basically stay compact, let no space go in between the lines. If we can beat them on the fast counterattack with Josie and Charlie, then that's what we're going to do. And we're going to exploit that. And that's essentially what we did. And we, we almost won the tournament doing that against Brazil. Yeah. Um, and uh, so we were really strong. We knew that, you know, we're not going to take any risks. Um, obviously, this is not a, a game to be dribbling out the back or – to try to make people here and there. Um, it, it was a tough game. It was a tough game. And for 90 plus minutes, we had to give 200% of ourselves uh, for the team. And, and that's exactly what everyone did. Fernando Torres, David Villa, anything you remember specifically about that game defending uh, those two players? I remember red flashes just, just going across my, nah, though, I tell you, man, it was, I remember David Villa, and I spoke to him afterwards a couple of times uh, in the States, and I was like, you remember that game? He was like, <laughs> 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 and I was like, I was like, come on. He's like, man, he's like, you guys were incredible. He's like, we, we couldn't get past you guys. We, we tried everything. And I was like, I don't know either. You know? <laughs> <laughs> but it was, it, was, it was incredible. 
Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.